One of the more famous sons of South Carolina is Colonel Thomas Hayward. We know about him as we drive the road named after him. But there's a lot more to know, and this is the way it was. Colonel Hayward was born of a wealthy planter family, July 28, 1746, in what is now Jasper County. He received a classic education at home and in England, where he entered as a law student. Well prepared now, young Mr. Hayward returned home. He quickly became a prominent political figure. He served as a delegate from South Carolina to the Second Continental Congress. He proudly cast his vote for independence from England. Hayward led troops against the English and was captured and imprisoned. Hayward was married twice, and each wife was named Elizabeth. The first Elizabeth died in childbirth in 1782 in Philadelphia, where she had gone to be with him upon his release as a prisoner of war. Now, lest we forget, the Haywards were gentlemen farmers. They owned thousands of acres of land on which they cultivated by keeping hundreds of enslaved human beings working at the crack of a whip. There are several descendants today, including DuBose Hayward, whose novel later became the George Gershwin popular opera Porgy and Bess. That's the way it was. It's history, some of it good, some heroic, and some of it bad. All of it the way it was.